I'm so privileged that I got to grow up here in beautiful King Lake West, Wurundjeri Woiwurrung country, surrounded by these beautiful bushlands. The ability to, you know, spend time in nature, on country, uh, listening to the birds around me, uh, really has shaped many things in my life. My name's Maddie Miller. I'm a Darug woman, an archaeologist, an artist, and researcher at the University of Melbourne. I'm working with ecologists and scientists to answer questions around how do we care for country? How do we come together with indigenous knowledge that spans tens of thousands of years and modern science to care for and look after this place? In 2009, the Black Saturday bushfires happened and all of this place, uh, this place that's so green and beautiful today, was burnt. It was all gone. There wasn't a green piece of grass or a leaf left. And for me, that was the first time that I'd really seen what happens when country is unwell. To see that sort of devastation in a place that had been so safe for me, I think really woke me up to the realities of country, of what it needs, of what we're not doing. These big changes like climate change, like mismanagement of country, are fueling these devastating catastrophic wildfires. And so for me, it's something that I've lived and it's something that certainly drives uh, me to make sure that, you know, we're all coming together to think about country as this place that has been looked after for tens of thousands of years, the place that needs us. And how do we all come together to care for country, I think is, you know, one of the more crucial questions of our time. When we talk about country, people might picture a place like where I am today, of this beautiful lushness. But for me, as a Darug person whose country is, you know, large parts of my uh, traditional homelands have been urbanised, and now living in Melbourne, uh, still on Wurundjeri Woiwurrung country, but in a really different setting, it's been really important for me to understand that country flows right across this land, that it's not disturbed by the urban sprawl, that that is still country. And as an archaeologist, I had the privilege of working on many sites in the CBD of Melbourne. And as I excavated those sites, you know, we went through the layers of, of country and we could peel back those layers. So, you know, from the, the modern shop that was tore down through to, you know, an 1870s house and an 1840s house. And then below that, far below that, we get these beautiful layers of Wurundjeri occupancy of this legacy that Wurundjeri people have left over tens of thousands of years. And we'd find stone tools and old waterways and all of these wonderful parts that show us that country is everywhere. And this beating heart of Wurundjeri country in particular still exists even in the concreted urban jungle that is Melbourne. We don't stop caring for country where the concrete starts and in our own backyards, in our own gardens, that's still country and we all have a responsibility to care for it. Field recording is a really important part of my artistic practice. It gives me an opportunity to sit and listen to what country's saying. Um, and you never really know what you're going to hear, uh, which I think is, is part of the excitement. So a mob of cockatoos flying overhead or the wind as it rustles through the leaves. It's not silence because it's full of noise, but for me, it's, it's, it's a really mindful exercise. Bringing both of my artistic and my academic backgrounds together, I think they both enrich each other and that gives me a cultural grounding in the work that I do. So 
So I'm one of 30 artists involved in the Emu Sky exhibition on campus. And this exhibition looks at Indigenous knowledges from all different science uh, backgrounds, including astronomy and earth science and food science. And it brings together all of these different ways of knowing country in this really beautiful artistic expression. So a central theme of this show and something that the show really celebrates is Indigenous knowledge and all of the different ways in which Indigenous peoples view the world around them and that knowledge that is deeply imbued in our culture and our law. And it also asks the question around why doesn't Western knowledge celebrate this? Why is not Indigenous knowledge included seriously in our more modern understandings of the world. And it really pushes those boundaries around science and whose knowledge is worthy. So I have a piece in the show called Yilabara Nyara, and that asks you to listen in the present moment. I interviewed four incredible Indigenous knowledge holders and we had these wonderful yarns about country. I felt like there was a hook in my gut and the rope attached to that hook was on my country and that they were reeling me to them and I couldn't get there fast enough. My piece really asks the visitor to sit down and listen to these stories and to really, you know, take these concepts of deep listening and internalise what they hear. It also then asks you to collaborate and to look after country as well. And part of that is that while you're listening, you're surrounded by baby river red gums and those river red gums will be planted on country. And after you've listened, we ask you to write a message to contribute to country. And then we'll take those messages and burn them and bury that ash with those baby river red gums so that they may thrive for the next several hundred years. The exhibition is so rich with story and with meaning and every time I come I take something new away but I hope people that visit my piece and, and visit the show also really take away that sense of, of hope, of action for the future, of this idea of coming together in, in respect and working together to help heal country for the generations to come.